Hi, I'm James Dixon with Pentaho, Lord of the Ones and Zeros. I'm here to talk about the architecture behind our plugin visualization layer that we have. So we're talking about the plugin visualizations. These show up inside of Analyzer, uh, which is part of our analytics platform. So we've got reporting and visualization. Analyzer is one of the tools within that, uh, within that platform. But we've got the ability to plug in new visualizations into, uh, into that environment. And I'm here to, to talk about that architecture and how it works. So all of this is operating inside of the business analytics server. So, and inside of the server, we have a plugin manager. So here is our business analytics server. And then inside of here, we have a plugin manager. So we have Analyzer as a plugin. It's using another plugin, which is called Common UI. And now I've got my third plugin, which is my, my new visualization. So what happens is as the server fires up, the plugin manager identifies and notices these plugins, and the visualization registers itself with the visualization controller. It says, I'm a visualization. Here's my name. Um, here's how to get a hold of me. When someone starts Analyzer, Analyzer requests the list of visualizations from the visualization controller. This is what enables Analyzer to present a list of options to the user. So the user um, selects our new visualization. The next thing that happens is that metadata about the visualization is given to Analyzer by the visualization controller. So the visualization specifies that um, I need a certain kind of data attributes. I need uh, a couple of different dimensions. I need um, two or more measures. So for instance, a pie chart just needs uh, slices and measures. Whereas, whereas something like a um, uh, histogramming or a trellis chart needs multiple numeric values. So this is just metadata that is provided to Analyzer so that it can populate um, a panel for you to, uh, to drop your data elements onto. So we now have an area inside of Analyzer. Um, and Analyzer has no idea what's going on in here. All it knows is that um, the visualization is going to display itself here. The user starts to drag things in. As soon as we have enough data elements to draw something, we will see a visualization on here. So the way that works is Analyzer gets the data for us, sends it through the visualization controller, and now we have data. The visualization takes that data, uh, works out how to display it, and now we have something, some kind of pie chart, polar chart, whatever this visualization does, is now displayed in this area. The next thing that the user does is they click or they double click on something. And at this point, the visualization owns this area here. So it says, uh, someone clicked on something that's called France. And it just announces to the visualization controller that someone clicked or double clicked. And it has no idea what to do with it. It just says, someone clicked on something. Analyzer says, OK, if you clicked on something, do you want to uh, exclude that? Do you want to keep that? What do you want to do with that? If you're double clicking, do you want to drill down? So Analyzer is responsible for handling that event. As a result of doing this, though, we get new data. So new data comes back to the visualization. Maybe now we're looking at the cities within France or our product lines or business units within France, whatever our drill down was. Um, so now we're displaying something new. So these we've got these, these breaks in here. Analyzer has no idea what's being displayed. The visualization has no idea where the data is coming from. Um, everyone is happy just doing their specific thing. And it makes it very easy to plug in new visualizations because we have this plugin manager. You can provide the metadata about what you need. You can surface events, and you can get data. Um, it's very, very easy, very, very simple. You can use um, graphics libraries such as D3 or Protoviz. You can take a, um, a self-contained chart engine if you want and integrate that into the platform. So if you have a chart engine that you've standardized on, and it's not the one that we're using. You can take that chart engine and you can integrate it into the platform so that that's the one that is used inside of Analyzer. Thank you very much.